नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन ग्राफ थ्योरी लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन हुईच आई विल डिस्कस ऑन लेवल ऑफ ए भार्ट एक्स इन ए बाइनरी ट्री नाउ we wish to know what is the level of a vertex in a binary tree since in binary tree exactly one vertex is of degree 2 and the vertex which has degree 2 is known as root of the binary tree by particular example we will try to know what is the level of a vertex in a binary tree let this is a binary tree here vertex v1 is of degree 2 and other vertices are of degree either 1 or degree 3 now we want to find the distance of the vertices from the root this is the root of the binary tree the distance of vertex v1 from the root that is from vertex v1 to vertex v1 is distance zero and we write this distance as level 0 now vertex v2 is at a distance 1 from the root that is from vertex v1 because there is only one edge between v1 and v2 similarly the vertex v3 is at a distance 1 from root that is from vertex v1 so vertex v2 and v3 known as vertices of level 1 that is distance from root to the vertex is known as level of that vertex here we see that v4 and v5 vertices are at distance 2 from the root root is vertex v1 from vertex v1 we see one edge and here one edge two edge so distance from v1 to v4 is 2 similarly distance from v1 to v5 is 2 so v4 and v5 vertices are of level 2 similarly we see v9 v8 v7 v6 are of level 3 they are at a distance 3 from the root similarly v13 v12 v11 v10 vertices are of level 4 they are distance 4 from the root root is vertex v1 so we define the level of a vertex is the distance of that vertex from the root now we define in a binary tree a vertex vi is said to be at a level li if vi is at a distance of li from the root of the tree since the root is at a distance zero from it hence root is at a level zero now we describe the application of a binary tree in search procedure with the help of particular example we try to understand 
this process. Here is a problem. A man has time to play roulette at most five times. At each play, he wins or losses a dollar. The man begins with one dollar and will stop playing before the five times if he loses all his money or he wins three dollars. That is, if he will have four dollars with the help of binary tree solve this problem. This is the application of a binary tree in such procedures. This is an example. This is a binary tree. Here, this is the root of degree 2. Here, man has one dollar. Then, start to play roulette. If he wins a dollar, then he will have two dollar or if he loses that one dollar, he will have zero dollar. Here play is stop. Again, here we have two dollar. If he wins a dollar, he will have three dollar. If he losses one dollar, then we, he will have one dollar. Two dollar minus one dollar, one dollar. Firstly, we see this side. He has one dollar. If he losses one dollar, he will have zero dollar. If he wins one dollar, he will have two dollar. Again, he starts play with two dollar. If he wins one dollar, then he will have three dollar. If he loses one dollar, then he will have one dollar. If he will have one dollar, if he loses, then he will have zero dollar. If he wins one dollar, then he will have two dollar. Here, he will have three dollar. And if he wins, he will have four dollar. If he losses, he will have two dollar. Here, he has three dollar. If he wins, then he will have four dollar. If he losses, then he, he will have two dollar. If he wins, then he will have three dollar. If he losses, he will have one dollar. If he has three dollar, then if he wins, then he will have four dollar. If he losses, then he will have two dollar. Here he has one dollar. If he wins, you will have two dollar. If he losses, you will have zero dollar. When he will have zero dollar, then play is stopped. Or he or if he wins three dollar, three dollar means at the beginning he has one dollar, that means he will have four dollar, and that time the play is stopped. Here also play is stopped, here also play is stopped. But in other cases, he will have to play five times. Here we see other than 0 or 4. Here we have pendant vertices 2, 2, 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, etc. So here we see that one time play, second time play, third time play, fourth time, fifth time. Here also fifth time in each pendant vertices where we are not finding 0 or 4, 
and other than 0 or 4, he stops the play after 5 times according to the given condition. And this is the process of search procedure for a binary tree. We describe this. Each vertex of a binary tree represents a test with two possible outcomes. Here we have seen two possible outcomes. If he loses one dollar, then he will have zero dollar. And if he wins, he will have one plus one, two dollar. We start at the root and the outcome of the test at the root sends to us to one of the two vertices at the next level where further tests are made here further play is made and so on reaching at specified pendant vertices these are pendant vertices final we terminate the search procedure. This is the search procedure in binary tree. Now we shall find minimum L max and maximum L max. In search procedure, it is clear that with the help of binary tree, we get one vertex at zero level at most two vertices at one level here one vertex at zero level here v2 v3 are at one level at most two if we do not take this side then we will have only one vertex at one level but at most two vertices at one level. At most four vertices at a two level and so on. Here we may see this. Therefore maximum number of possible vertices up to k level in the binary tree is. In zero level we have one vertex V1 that is 1 equal to 2 to the power 0. In one level, two vertices that is 2 to the power 1. In two level, we have four vertices that is 2 square. And in this way, at k level, number of vertices will be 2 to the power k. And we add these and we get maximum number of possible vertices up to k level in the binary tree. And this is GP. First term is 2 to the power 0. Common ratio is 2. And we find this 2 to the power 0 multiply. Number of terms be k plus 1. So 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1. That is 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 1. This is number 1. If we have n vertices in the binary tree, then it is clear that we have at most these number of vertices up to k level. So n will be less than equal to 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 1. The maximum level L max of any vertex in a binary tree is called the height of the binary tree. For minimum possible height of L max will be for n equal to 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 1. So, 2 to the power k plus 1 equal to n plus 1. Here base is 2. 
we take log base 2 n plus 1 equal to k plus 1 implies that k equal to log base 2 n plus 1 minus 1. This k is minimum possible height of L max. That is minimum L max equal to log base 2 n plus 1 minus 1. Now we find maximum L max max L max. Let us construct a binary tree with n vertices such that farthest vertex is as far as possible from the root. This is possible for the binary tree given below. Here we take the root as vertex V1, this is at zero level. In one level, we take two vertices V2 and V3. In two level, we take two vertices V4 and V5. This is two level. In three level, we have two vertices V6 and V7. In four level, we have two vertices V8 and V9. In five level, we have two vertices V10 and V11. Here we see that we have only 11 vertices, but our level is five. And this, this is possible 11 minus one by two. Therefore, in generalized form, we may write this maximum of L max is n minus 1 by 2, where n be the number of vertices in a binary tree. Thanks for watching my video. If you are satisfied with my presentation and contents, then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.